Here we are on the uh, path up to the Ridgeway for going to ground. Just me and Effie and uh, it's Friday and uh, found time for giving her a walk at, uh, I guess it's about half four. <clears throat> Day's getting longer and uh, an interesting week for me, uh, including a, a talk at uh, in Pusey, not far from here, for their Lenten series of talks. One of the things that Christians often do in Lent, uh, the churches do, is provide a uh, series of talks, uh, thought-provoking consideration of ideas is part of our Lenten discipline. It's something that's encouraged and opportunity to think about deep things, which is great. And um, people might take up a reading a particular book or read the Bible more or think about issues uh, that uh, they've not done at depth before. Anyway, I was speaking about how to um, relieve stress in our lives, <laughs> to which um, when I told Rebecca, my wife, they'd asked me to speak about de-stressing, she simply responded, what, you? Um, I have a lot to learn on that subject, but um, nevertheless, I managed to find something to say, and it was a lovely evening because actually quite a few of us opened up about the things that cause us stress, and there was that super kind of fellow feeling in the uh, Q and A in the conversation afterwards, which is so uh, informative and, and supportive. Anyway, one of the one of the things that I talked about um, that relieved stress was, unsurprisingly, getting out in the landscape, along with writing, creative writing, and popular music. Um, three themes that groundlings will not be unfamiliar with through these little films. And um, one of the things I would have explored if there was time about the, the gift of of getting out um, in the landscape for uh, for de-stressing is particularly the way that it unravels ideas that are scrambled or tangled or complex. There's something about the rhythm of of physically working out stress it means that your your body can channel the stress while your mind is set free to think. It's almost as if the, when we are pressurised and stressed, the stress homes in on our brain, on our thought life and constricts it um, so that we are kind of clenched up in the way that we um, face and tackle issues. But when you're out walking, you can um, the, the tension goes another way. It's a sort of ch channel. It's like a changing of, 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 of channel or track, you know, changing the points. So that the stress diverts off into the, the physical act of walking. And then the mind is somehow liberated um, to be, to see things a little more clearly and evenly. And often the, the different tangled threads of our whatever we're working through can be seen and um, understood at, in relation to each other. I, I would not have been able to finish my doctorate, I would not have been able to write my books had I not walked them out, and many writers say the same thing. And I'm very grateful, of course, privileged to be able to walk and get out and have good health to do that. But it was, those sentences were paced out <laughs> in my studies and when I'd sat staring at the screen and had just gone into that sort of screen freeze mode where the what we call it the wheel of doom on the computer screen you know where it just goes round and round and round buffering trying to process everything that was the time and there was one particular field actually sorry that I near where I wrote that I just used, to, I walked whole chapters out. It wasn't very long, actually. It was just a, it was a sort of 200 metre patch of field. I walked up and down, up and down. 
And I thought sometimes if I got a really hit a really tangled knot, you know, I would uh, think that's that's going to be a a half an hour walk out or a forty minute walk out to get it out. But it 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 does, and it separated out the strands, as I say. I was likening stress to the the old string bag in our garage that we used to have at home, and I've somehow inherited, even with some of the same bits of string from childhood. And uh, the problem is that very often when we tug on one end of the string, a loose end, the whole lock constricts up, and uh, it becomes hard to hard to proceed, hard to simplify and separate out things so that they're you can't actually make it work or the string can't be useful. And the, the act of walking teases things out somehow. Anyway, I know some of you feel the same way and uh, if you're not able to get out much or as much as you'd like, then I pray that there'll be other ways of, of uh, unraveling, if you see what I mean. And so, I'll speak to you again soon and uh, from the Ridgeway in Wiltshire, God bless you as you go to ground.